But first tonight, Charlie DeMar kicks off our team coverage with the state's new disaster proclamation as new coronavirus cases crop up. Charlie. Brad, good evening. City and state leaders say the chances of getting COVID-19 are still relatively low, and these new cases do not come as a surprise, and more are expected. This is going to affect your daily life. Governor J.B. Pritzker joining more than 10 other states to declare some form of emergency, a move to free up state and federal funding to fight COVID-19. We don't need it now, but we may need it in the near future. What we need now is to make sure that we have access to the resources. All four new cases are women in their 50s and 70s. Two of them are relatives of a previously diagnosed CPS employee at Vaughn High School. The third case, a woman traveling from California to Chicago. The fourth, a woman in her 70s who recently returned from a cruise to Egypt. The ship has been linked to other coronavirus cases. Close contacts to confirm cases are the ones most at risk, like the family members in this case. So I do want to be clear that this news is not surprising. Right now, there are no plans on canceling large gatherings, including this weekend St. Patrick's Day Parade, but talks are ongoing. The elderly encouraged not to attend. Thank you. And as Election Day approaches, polling places are being relocated from places like senior centers to shield the most vulnerable. We want to protect them as best we can. We also want everybody to vote. Now, of the 11 cases that have been diagnosed in Illinois, not everyone is still in the hospital. At least five people have been released or on home quarantine. We are live tonight in the newsroom. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Brad. Charlie, thank you.